didn't see you there. Welcome back to another hot video. Oh boy, do we have news to cover or what? So much sh** has gone down recently that I would not be surprised if this video exceeds the 10 minute mark. So you know what? Let's get right to it. Now, let me just explain everything that will be touched in this video. Bungie's December update and the new release trailer for the next Bungie upcoming stream. It might only sound like two things, but within those two is a lot to talk about. So let's get started. So last Wednesday, Bungie was supposed to do the final Curse of Osiris livestream about the new weapons and gear to earn. Unfortunately, it was cancelled and replaced with a blog post uploaded the next day. They did this since their two previous streams got a lot of complaints with some things that they said that were quite disappointing. The post they uploaded to their website called The State of Destiny 2 talked about a massive update to try to make the game better coming in December, hence the December update. A lot of new info is said here that I'm now about to share to you. First off, they're adding a new weapon tier called Masterworks. A Masterwork weapon will feature stat trackers, random rerollable stat bonuses, unique item tooltips, and item detail screen. Legendary weapons will drop as or be upgraded to become Masterworks versions. They will have few advantages over regular legendary weapons. On a Masterworks weapon, you will be able to track and display the number of kills with that weapon with a choice between total count and crucible count. They generate orbs for you and allies on multi-kills and you can add stat bonuses that are selected randomly from a small pool and are re-rollable. This will be arriving December 12th. But how can you get these? They will drop from any source of legendary weapons for characters above 250 power. If you dismantle a masterwork weapon, you will earn materials that you can use to upgrade a regular legendary to a masterwork. The Raiden Trials weapons will have a very high chance of dropping as masterwork. Here is a picture of the Uriel's Gift as a masterwork as you can see, it tracks your kills and has a bonus weapon perk. And here is another view of the weapon's perks. Next on the list, armor ornaments. Starting on December 5th, armor ornaments will be added to some existing armor sets for more visual customization without losing your shaders or mods. These ornaments will be unlocked by completing objectives specific to each set and are permanently unlocked account-wide just like exotic weapon ornaments. They will be applied to base pieces that you may have already collected and can now unlock on vendors if not. In Season 2, Vanguard, Crucible Trials, Iron Banner, Dead Orbit, Future Workle, New Monarchy, and the new Raid Layer Armor will all have ornaments. Here is what the new Iron Banner tab will look like. As you can see, he's still selling Season 1 armor and an ornament. To earn this ornament, you need to win 25 matches of Iron Banner. This is what the new Crucible tab will look like. You can now purchase Crucible armor and their ornaments directly from Lord Shax. Now some exciting news. Xur is being modified. Starting on December 12th, Xur will now start selling 3 of coins, which was in Destiny 1. If you don't know what it is, it is a consumable that will now boost exotic drop rates from any source for 4 hours. He will also have an engram of his own. It seems to have two names, the Faded Engram or Isochronal Engram. It is only available once per week and will always reward you with an exotic you don't have yet. In this image, Xur is also selling some Curse of Osiris Hunter boots, so uh, yeah. Hunter exotic boots confirm D2 first expansion thing, yeah. Hunter Masteries. Now, the gun guy is also getting some changes. Here they are. Starting on December 5th, Banshee has some updates on the weapon and armor front. For players wanting to clear some mod inventory space, rare quality mods will dismantle into gunsmith materials and have a chance to produce legendary quality mod components. For players chasing specific legendary mods, including legendary kinetic mods, Banshee will offer a selection of specific legendary mods for direct purchase with a selection that will rotate daily and cost legendary shards and mod components. Here's some more news. Starting on December 5th, the troll himself, Master Raul, will sell some of his rumored horde of legendary ingrams for legendary shards. This is a great way of earning masterworks. I like this change since Master Raul has always been unused. His only use is the decryption of engrams, which everybody does, but I feel like he could do so much more than just that. Now he serves another purpose too. Also starting on December 5th, Commander Zavala and Lord Snacks, I mean Shax, 
will sell gift consumables for legendary shards that can be used during a strike or crucible match that will serve certain functions. They grant bonus rewards to everyone in that activity upon completion, friend or foe, and they can award anything from faction tokens to exotics for everyone in the match. Here's some changes coming in regards towards reputation tokens. Vendors will now beckon you to hand in tokens if you're carrying enough to earn a reward from them. Daily challenges will have increased reputation token awards. Kate's chest will finally guarantee a payout of destination appropriate tokens. And finally, Leviathan raid tokens will be redeemed at Benedict immediately upon obtaining them instead of clearing the entire raid before unlocking. And now for the rest of the news. Bungie is going to make changes to certain prestige activities in order to give players a better incentive to complete them. That's coming sometime in January. They're also looking to add better rewards and replay value for strikes, adventures, and lost sectors. To do this, they will be adding heroic strikes for more loot, and for lost sectors and adventures, they're not so sure on what to do yet. And there is no specific date for changes to come for them. And now, for the most wanted thing of all in this entire video. PRIVATE MATCHES FOR THE CRUCIBLE! Give us a release date, Bungie! Let's see, let's see, there we are! Listen to this, guys, listen to the- Oh. Oh. Still targeting early 2018 and expect to have better insight into exact timing in the new year? What? That's it? That's not specific enough! Okay, moving on before I go jump off a bridge. They're moving ranked PvP to the top of their priority list for next year. Wow, Bungie is actually doing something with PvP for a change. Oh cool, they're also adding a quitter penalty for competitive. Alright, that wraps up the December update. I didn't mention everything, I only said the most important news. But now Bungie has released a new trailer for their final Curse of Osiris stream. Link to it will be in the description, but you don't have to go there yet because I'll show you it right now in case you're not familiar with it. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Anywhere we could stop them, we must. Now, I'm going to go over everything super quick, so pause the video whenever you need to. Most likely a new exotic right here. This is the new Solar Trace Rifle. This is an exotic grenade launcher called the Colony that shoots robot spiders that track your enemies and detonate. This is a new exotic emote called the Mic Drop, and a new Sweeper Bot exotic emote too. So that was pretty much it. This video is longer than usual for me, so please drop a like and please subscribe. Make sure to check out my other videos. I've broken down and said every important detail of each Bungie Curse of Osiris stream so far that you can also go check out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in the very next video.